Hey, 007, tell me about that PPK. We know you love Daniel Craig. All right, so uh, a nice, cool little Walther German firearm here. Boy, these things are just beautiful. Um, this one did come out of um, Fort Smith, Arkansas, though, so truly not a German gun, just German engineering. I'm sorry, Germany, did not mean to offend you. What a cool little gun. It's, it's an all metal frame firearm, has a small, I believe it's a seven round mag. Now it's actually six plus one. Uh, after a ton of research, I thought, man, I'm gonna take this home myself and throw a threaded barrel on this thing and really become um, not Daniel Craig, but you know, one of the other 007s. Not possible. You actually have to buy this with uh, from the factory with the uh, threaded barrel. Um, and I'm not sure they're making them anymore. But tell you what, if you want a super classic, super classic all metal frame pistol that shoots 380 auto, um, and it's actually a really fun gun to shoot. This um, has a little punch to it for 380, but it's nothing that's unbearable. A little finger tab at the bottom is just fine for small little fingers like myself. Um, Walter, again, super classic. It's got a really weird takedown portion where the front of the uh, trigger guard actually comes down and that releases the barrel, which allows the disassembly because this barrel does not move a lot like other um, semi-autos. Every time the slide comes back, it is fixed. As I can show you, it does not, does not reciprocate. Um, the other kind of nuanced part of this gun is you can't drop the slide at, um, unless you drop the empty magazine. So you do have to remove that. Trigger pull, not the greatest, not the worst. Um, it's definitely not a Glock. Um, the trigger reset, um, it does leave a little something to desire. It's actually kind of funny. I'll see if I can get a close up of this, but their trigger reset is almost inaudible. There. I don't think you heard it, but it was there and there's the reset. It's a really long reset and it's, it's you can't feel it reset and you can't hear it reset. You can hear it if you're not as quite as deaf as me. Um, thank you, United States Marine Corps, Mark 19, 50 cal. A little too much time behind you guys. So what's cool about the Walther is it's got a little cousin. Um, so you can get a Bofa, um, a Bofa these, but it's actually not a uh, Walther, it's a Beretta. Um, and this little 22 bad boy right here, we should probably do its own video on it at some point, but you can get this with a threaded barrel from the factory. They don't make any aftermarket ones that you can drop in. There's not quite enough barrel there to, uh, to get enough threads on for a suppressor. But this little guy right here, almost, you know, same color scheme, all metal frame, very, very cool. But the difference between the Walser and the Breda obviously is gonna be the caliber and the, uh, I think the gun that's super, super fun to shoot though, is this little 22. And if you're able to get a can on it, Boy, it just makes it that much more fun.